Hello, I'm going to tell you about how project approval process works at Expo. Project approval is a process that takes place to see if the Expo project is ready for judging. It's about the project and not about the person doing the project. The group of people that do project approval wear yellow hats. So it's easy to find them. And they use a form to check if the project is ready to be charged. The form looks like this. You can see at the end that there is space for the project approval team member to show that your project is ready for judging or not. There is also space for the project team member to show what you need to do if something is not correct. And I'm going to show you how the process works. Let's look at an expo project and see if the project is ready for judging. A project is ready for judging if there are only ticks on the form. And the top of the form looks like this. Hi, I'll, I'll be going through section A of your project approval form. First of all, the title that you have must be the same as the one that you've entered into Expo, which will be in the program. Then, your project must fulfill the A4 rule. Any pictures or information must be on A4 sheets. Your pictures must be referenced, either with a URL or the name of the person who's taken the photo. On your table, you must have your report file, as well as your data file, with all the data that you've collected, as well as the dates that you've collected them. The following forms are on the table in the file firstly the abstract secondly the research plan that must be signed by your teacher the plagiarism form Permission letters for surveys to take place. This letter will come from your principal or the parent. Permission letters for a, from a scientist who will be present when you complete your project. This scientist is called the supervising scientist. I'm going to check if there are any safety issues with this project. Electricity items and no models on the floor, not applicable since it is not available yet. I'm going to check for ethical issues with your project. None of the things on this list should be on your project. And if they are, I am going to ask you to remove them when you come back to your project. These items should, be, should not be on your project brand names or branded products, living organisms including animals, plant, fungi and bacteria, human or animal parts such as hair, nails, fetus, organs, agar blades or other growth mediums, dangerous chemicals such as medicines, drugs, acid, paint, flammable substances such as petrol, oil and paraffin, wood unless it's treated, hazardous substances or devices such as weapons and knives, inappropriate photographs such as photos of operations and nudity, unsealed water or food must be in transparent container and additionally sealed with tape. When all things have gone, I will add ticks to your form.
this form looks like with all the ticks. This means the project has been approved. You then sign. The project, it is ready for judging. Now the form must be on the table so that you can see it as well as the judges. Now you can see how your project was supposed to look like before. Good luck for your expo project. Thank you.